The three center-based lists are the customer job list, vendor list, and employee list. These three lists, combined with a menu-based list called other names, make up the four names lists. These four lists are important because this is where you store the names of companies and individuals. Here's a common mistake. You have a subcontractor who receives a 1099 from your company. You put their name on the employee list because subcontractors work for your company, kind of like an employee. But this is wrong. Subcontractors belong on the vendor list in QuickBooks. The point? When you enter a new name in QuickBooks, you must put the name on the right list. Use the following rules to decide what goes on each names list. Number one, to track accounts receivable from a customer or to track sales by customer, enter their name on the customer job list. Two, to track accounts payable from a company or individual or to issue them a 1099, enter their name on the vendor list. Three, if you prepare payroll checks for an employee and issue them a W-2, enter their name on the employee list. Four, the other names list. Enter names that do not belong on the customer, vendor, or employee lists. For instance, you might enter personal contacts on this list, or use this list for one-time vendors that do not need a 1099. There are some special rules that apply to the four names lists. You learn these rules next. There are four names lists. The first three names lists are center-based. Use these icons to open these lists. Customers, vendors, and employees. The fourth names list is a menu-based list, which you open from the lists menu, called the other names list. The first rule, you cannot use the same name twice. That means you could not have Smith Hardware twice on the customer list. It also means that if Smith Hardware is on the customer list, the same name cannot be entered on one of the other names lists. QuickBooks places this restriction on you, but it still happens in the real world. For instance, you might have a customer who is also a vendor. Click the Customer Center icon to demonstrate. Frontier Housing is your number one customer. They are such a good customer that you hire them to do work for your company. That means Frontier Housing should also appear on the vendor list. Click the New Vendor button. Type the name of the vendor, Frontier Housing, and click OK. QuickBooks warns that the name already appears on the customer job list. QuickBooks suggests that you append a letter or number to this name to differentiate it from the existing name. Click OK and let's add a letter to the name. Add hyphen V to the name of the vendor. Click OK. And the name appears on the vendor list. In the next topic, you learn the second rule for names lists. The second rule, you cannot move names from one list to another. For instance, Buildum's vendor list includes a subcontractor named Auto Mechanics. Auto is great with cars. He is so good, you decide to hire him as an employee. You cannot move him to the employee list in the employee center. Instead, add hyphen V to his name on the vendor list then enter his name on the employee list with the correct spelling. There is an exception to this rule. You can move other names to another list. Select Lists, Other Names List, to open the list. Let's move Athena Adaska to the vendor list. Double-click on her name. QuickBooks displays the Edit Name window. Click the Change Type button. In this window, select the list you want to move her to. Let's move Athena Adaska to the vendor list. Click OK. QuickBooks warns that changing the name type cannot be undone. Click OK. Close the other names list. Now Athena appears on the vendor list. Remember, you can only move names on the other names list to another list. If you don't know where to enter a new name, put it on the other names list and move it later if necessary. Visit www.quickbookstraining.com for more tips and to learn about our QuickBooks classes.